Hey, it's Lance Keltner here. We're looking at the Tone King Metropolitan. It's uh, one of the new offerings from the company. It's got uh, two channels. It's a 466 cathode bias amp. And uh, I've had this here at my studio for the last couple of weeks and used it on a gig or two. And I have to tell you, it's an amazing, portable, lightweight, incredible sounding amp. And uh, it has a new kind of uh, power scaling technology, uh, for lack of a better term. Uh, I believe Mark Bartel calls it a phase four uh, power technology system. And each of the two channels on here has its own output power control. So what you were just hearing was actually uh, the rhythm channel sort of set up for a Texas blues vibe. Yeah. And uh, the rhythm channel is actually only set up with the output on about two. I mean, it's barely, barely cracked open. And um, the thing has a really, really lush full tone. Um, the other night I played this thing in a small club and uh, the sound man was amazed at what a, what a great tone I was getting at a really reasonable volume. Now, as you can see, look, we can turn this rhythm channel up. That's the output power section we're manipulating right now. We're going to back this back down. Now, check it out. Really, there's no difference in tone there. I mean, you can go from nearly all the way up down to you know bedroom volume with this amplifier and the tone stays very consistent. So going over the, uh, the uh, control section here, we have an input obviously, a high and low power sensitivity for uh, matching pickups. I usually leave it on high. Uh, volume control, a bright switch, a treble control, a bass control, and then uh, right here in the middle of the chassis we've got a rhythm or lead channel switch which is also foot switchable. Uh, so you just use a, a standard uh, foot switch on that and you can switch between channels. The lead channel has a volume control, a t an overall tone control, a mid bite control. There's a master reverb for the whole amp. It's got beautiful sounding reverb, which I'll show you a little bit more of them in a moment. And then two output power, separate output power controls for the clean channel and the lead channel. Let me show you how beautiful this reverb is. Check this out. <laughs> Setup too. I've noticed personally is when you when you switch between the two channels, you get the gain channel. It will tuck back just a little bit, so you're not getting that messy wash that you might get with some spring reverbs. Uh, things sound really incredible. So, uh, in in the rhythm channel, I'll show you. Uh, there's the bright switch on. same tone stack from a 40 watt amp and moved that down while compensating for any bass loss on the bottom end. So the amazing thing about this, this amp is I can go play anywhere with this thing. So you know you could set up uh, at, a, at a full size venue or a very very small club and get great tones. Now the lead channel is a lot of fun on this. The mid bite control does quite a bit. So here's, here's an example of um, we've got the lead uh, alpha power barely broken up. In mid bite off with the tone halfway up. Check this out. I'm 
talking about an amp right now that I've got set up, barely broken open. This amp is not very loud the way we have it set right now. I'm going to bring this uh, lead output power up just a bit. <laughs> control and the mid bike control there are a lot of sounds in this amp single coils and humbuckers um, I'm going to crank this mid bite all the way up with a strap you'll get an idea of how much punch and gain this adds <laughs> now we'll take this output power nearly off for you guys that want to play at home watch this <laughs> With so many sound men now, even on big tours, really complaining about stage volume, this is going to be a great amp for pros, for semi-pros, and for guys that just want to get amazing sounds at their house. I could be playing this right here, and someone could be standing over there talking on the phone at the volume I have it right now, and I wouldn't be interrupting their conversation. So, like... <laughs> a minute and we'll take a look at it with some humbuckers. Thanks a lot. And... Hey, it's Lance Keltner. I'm back looking at the Tone King Metropolitan Amplifier. Uh, we've already heard uh, the amp with single coils. Right now I've got a uh, Fibonair basic jazz guitar that I've been playing a whole lot lately plugged into the, uh, the uh, lead channel of the Metropolitan and you really get an idea of the kind of great rock tones you get out of this amp. It's very thick and meaty, very, very thick and chewy and um, really does for me kind of the whole sort of ZZ vibe and beyond. Uh, I know that the uh, that Mark Bartell is into hard rock sounds as well as clean sounds just like I am and you can really tell by the way they voice the amp here. <laughs> Switch to the rhythm channel. Just as beautiful with humbuckers as it was with single coils for clean sounds. I'm going to turn the verb back up just a little bit more here. flexible. The uh, output power scaling thing on this amp is uh, nothing short of phenomenal and uh, it's a great sounding amplifier. If you get a chance please go check out a Tone King Metropolitan on your own. I'm sure you'll love it. It's amazing sounding. Um, I'm Lance Keltner. Thanks for your time.